Good morning guys, welcome back to Vintage Story. Today I want to have a look at setting up chiseling because I need to set it up on my world. My world I play on has not got it set up. Now, let's go to single player and let's spawn a new world or let's pretend to. If we look at this and we look at the customize area, then under here we've got all sorts of things. Look at this world width and length, a million blocks. My goodness me. Death, punishment. We can now put that in when we spawn a world so that you can keep your inventory. This is the one. If we wanted to spawn this world, we would click this and that would enable us to do micro block chiseling. Now, we're not actually going to spawn a new world. We're going to go into this one where I have played 331 hours and four minutes. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Right guys, let's try and set this command up. Now, the first thing we need is what I call a backslash. And I'm gonna put in world config space. I'll put this down below in the description. Then micro block and chiseling has a capital C. Space and then true. Okay. World can, let me just check the spelling. World config micro block chiseling, all one word, true. True set. Excellent. To get the chiseling command to work, I obviously had to come out of the world and then restart the world so that when you restart, the chiseling command works. Now, let's take a block of oak because that's one of the easiest blocks on which to show the effects. So you put the block down and the first thing you have to do is to make it chiselable, if that's a word. So you just right click on it and then you should be able to press F and if you, when you've right clicked it, this menu comes up. Now, if you press the first one, if you left click, can you see it takes a couple of of pixels out. Right click to put them back. Take a bigger one, left click, right click to put them back. This is even bigger, it's, I think it's an eighth. So you can left click to take them out, right click to put them back. This takes out a quarter, wow. <laughs> And then this one rotates it. So let's um, let's take out. Actually, I think let's do that one. Yeah, left click. That's it. Then if we go to the F and we rotate it, can you see it moved it? That one. It's rotating this way. So if you left click it again and left click it again, it goes round in circles. <laughs> oh, a temporal storm's coming. And then if you click again and you click this one, flip, then you left click it and it moves from side to side. If you click F again, this one, gives you the ability to just name whatever it is. So that is a very, very simple guide. This isn't sophisticated chiseling. This is just how the controls work. Well, guys, now that you've got chiseling set up, it's time for you to practice. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of skill. But I think the fact you can virtually rub stuff out by just pressing the right click 
saves you from all sorts of problems. And I hope that you manage to create some gorgeous artworks, unlike this little face I have drawn. Enjoy your chiselling. Bye bye.